Hey, it's Nico and it's better tonight. Tonight we're going to talk about firewalls. Have you got one? Because you really should have one. Now we know Linux is super secure, but it's not infallible, is it? So you really do need some stuff. I mean, the idea is to stop people getting in and getting out. So that sort of stuff. So I've installed Firestarter. It's in the repos. As you can see, it all runs rather nice. Nice GUI. That's what it says on the tin. What more can I say? Not a lot, really. But even though people say Linux doesn't need a firewall, it does. Because there are lots of browser stuff going on down there at the moment. And if you use peer to peer stuff, you'll know what I'm saying. So if you go to Ubuntu Software Center, if you're using Ubuntu or your own repos, you'll find a firewall for you. Now, this one I'm using here just for now is Firestarter. Let's give you some information. There it goes. Real easy to use, and you can set it up as you go. Now, I've actually installed it, so I don't need to actually add it, do I? So, anyway. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go out and look at it. So, what do we get first? Well, it's a firewall for a start. Get events, what's happened, and policies, what you have chosen to enable or not enable. So, outbound and inbound. At the end of the day, you're going to, have to configure these yourselves at the end of the day. There's no automatic stuff, really. All that will stop the main stuff coming through. So, if we go into preferences, there we go. Enable icon. Minimize tray on closed window. I didn't do that one. Oh, I must do that. So I'll click there because I need to do that. Now, events is what's been going on. Okay, that's just self explanatory at the end of the day, isn't it? Events. Policy is a policy you choose to make when you're doing your firewall. Some just basic firewall stuff here. Do you want to restart, start it on the HCP, lease, renew, etc.? Network settings. Now I've got my Ethernet because I'm wired. I've also got my VBox because I use VirtualBox as well, so I need that. Now I've also got ICMP filtering here, so if I click the box here, you can actually allow these sort of things like echo requests, trace through, redirection, different stuff like that. Now I know it's not easy peasy, but this is some of the trade-offs of using Linux. Sometimes you have to put a bit of work in. It's like this one, type of service filtering, enable this type of service. So like if I enable it, workstation service of the echo window system. It's up to you at the end of the day, so you have to have a bit of a read about it. In advance, on this particular system, or on this particular program, it asks you for them questions. But at the end of the day, you're going to have to have one at the end of the day. You, can, you might get away with it, you might not. You know, Sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. At the end of the day, it all depends what you do your browsing with at the end of the day, doesn't it? I mean, you could go to nice sites, or you might go to naughty sites. But if you're going to a naughty site, you do need a firewall. Come on, boys, you know the score. Sneaky Linux going out.